In order to add a new page, we need to go into the back end, click over on this tab in my particular window, and uh, we'll update the, uh, the changes here that we had made about on the About page. That just takes a second. There's the Update button. If I want to go check to make sure that those changes were made, here's the About page as it was. I'm going to hit Refresh, and it should show the new information. And there it is. Okay. So back on the back end, we want to add a page that we'll, uh, be, we'll be able to link to. So I'm going to click Add New. I'm going to call this page John. And I'm going to paste some text into here that I've created. It's a sort of placeholder text to give us an idea of what things would look like. And um, there it is. So I've got all of this. Again, I need to make sure I get my my paragraphs put together. Sometimes it uh, leaves spaces out. Okay. And I'm going to hit Publish. So once I've hit Publish, the page is then going to be visible out on the Internet. And we can go check that by going to our tab that shows the site on the Internet and hitting Refresh. And there's the page. So if you click here on John, it shows the text that I just put in. Now, that's all well and good, but I think it would be nice to add a photograph in here. So how do you do that in WordPress? Well, uh, let's put a photograph right at the top. So I'm just going to put the cursor on the very first line. And you'll notice here, Upload, Insert, there are these different options. This one right on the left, if you roll over your mouse over it, it'll say Add an Image. So no problem. So I click Add an Image. And I can then select a file from my computer. No, oh, I don't have one ready yet. So I need to prepare the file before I can upload it so that it's the, the appropriate uh, picture to go there. Well, I have one out on my desktop called John Kamloops 97. Here's a photo, but it's kind of big. If I'm using Photoshop, I'll notice that it's, it's 1168 pixels wide, which is wider than the actual screen that we have. Well, we don't want it that large, and besides, it would take up an awful lot of space. So in fact, I'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller and I can do that just by cropping it in Photoshop. So maybe you want it cropped a little bit anyhow. So I'll just do this and then I'll, I'll make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to go into uh, my size here. I'm going to resample this. This is all the, another tutorial for that matter, but um, it's a little bit of what I do within Photoshop. Um, which you can do even with something like Photoshop Elements, you can do these kinds of things in. So I want to change the width of it, and um, you'll get to know what these things mean after you've used WordPress for a while, but probably for this, I'm going to make it about 300 pixels wide. So it's going to be 300 pixels wide by 391 pixels high. I'm going to go OK, and then I'm going to save it for web, and I'll give it a little bit lower quality here. It's a very handy thing in Photoshop. You can save your images out quite a bit smaller than how they'd be otherwise. Keep in mind that this original image would have been probably uh, one megabyte. I'm bringing it down to about 28K, which is a fraction of that size. So I'm going to click Save, and I will save it out onto my desktop. I'm going to close that. And I now have the file out here. Here it is down here. And I will now go Select Files find it. It's available. There it is. And it will upload it to the site. Gives you a few options once you've done that. I usually add a little bit of alternative text in case somebody can't see the image and that is just, you might just want to say what the image is. Um, their example is the Mona Lisa. Clearly I'm not the Mona Lisa. I'm John McLaughlin so I'll just put in my name. And then down here, there's some alignment things. None, left, center, right. For right now, I'm going to choose full size image and none and click insert into post. OK, so it's put the image at the top of the page and then the text begins. Well, let's click update and go see what that looks like. 
takes a second for this to update. And I'm going to go back out to the other tab that where I've got the actual site showing. And it's still sitting on this particular page, but you'll notice there's no photo there yet, because of course I have to hit reload or refresh. And there's the image. Now, looks okay there, but it would actually probably look better if some of the text wrapped around it. So I'm going to redo this image and show you how it can look a little bit different. I'm going to go into here. Here's, if I just put my cursor on the photograph itself, you'll notice that there's a little two little buttons that show up. One is delete, the other one is, is edit. Well, I'm just going to delete this and instead I'm going to put my cursor to the left of the very first line which is where it says singer-songwriter. I'm just going to put it right there and then go back to upload or insert. Now I've already uploaded this image which means it's sitting in the gallery or in the media library so I don't really have to go and upload another copy of it if it's the very same image. So I wanted to just go look at images that have already been put up. I could look at the images that are in the media gallery. And you'll notice that there are a few images in the media gallery. Here's the couple of the banners that I was working with. And here's the one that, that I just uploaded. So I'm going to click show. And this looks very familiar. But this time I'm going to click on, on left. Rather, I'm going to make it align left. And I'm going to click insert into post. And now you'll notice that it's the text wraps around it. I'm going to click update. You always need to click update when you make a change to a page, otherwise you won't see any of those changes on the uh, the actual uh, website. So I'm going to click update. And I'll go back out to the outside of the site and hit refresh and see if it looks any different. And there it is. So this looks a little bit more professional when you've got some text wrapping around it like this. I put the photo on the left in this case because it, it's the way that uh, I'm facing in this and it faces the text. If it was a, the opposite, I might put it on the, have it align on the right side and have it facing inward. But that probably is the best way to put it for something like this. And so that's how you can add an image into uh, an actual page or post whenever you're working on it. Okay, well, we've set up a page for uh, the lead singer of the group, and um, we did that because we wanted to be able to go from our About page, click on the new page of the lead singer, and link through to it. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to uh, copy the URL of this page, which is the sockeyes.wordpress.com slash john. I'm just going to copy that. So hit Command or Control C. Go back to your back end again. And let's just click on Pages. And you'll notice now that there are two pages listed. One is the one that we just created. And the other one is, of course, our About page. Well, remember that About page is where we had that point where we wanted to put a link on it through to the John page. So let's go back to that. We'll edit it. Scroll down here, and here's a case where it's the Sockeyes was started by lead singer John McLaughlin. So we want to make the name there be the link to the other page. So to do that, highlight the text that you want to be the link, and then up in this area, you'll notice that there are these two little link buttons, and there's this one that looks like a little chain, and it says, if you roll your mouse over it, it says, insert edit link. Okay, so I click on that and you get this window that comes up. Well, this is where you put the URL that you want people to go to when they click on that link. Okay, so I just copied it from the other page before. There it is, the sockeyes.wordpress.com slash john. And I'm going to click add link. And there it is. Now, make sure that you update the page before you make before you leave it to go check it. I've done this before. You don't you don't do this and then you go out to have a look at it. Your about page back out on the site and you go, well it's not there. And you wonder why. Well it's because you didn't hit the update button, which you need to do. Okay. So that's updated. Now I go back out to the actual site, hit re refresh or reload, and there's the link. 
So when somebody is on the About page and they're reading through and they think, oh, okay, I want to get more information, they can just click on that and it goes to the page that we just created. So that's how you set up a link uh, between two pages on a site. And of course, you could put that link to anywhere on the internet, in fact, and that's a really good idea if you've got other links and places that you'd like to send people. Um, and we also learned how to put in a photograph and place it left or right or not at all. It depends kind of on the shape of your photograph or what you want to do.